Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. Well, I am back from Naples, Florida, and I gotta tell you, it was a complete blast. So I'm gonna talk about it a little bit here at the beginning of this video. So if you don't wanna hear all about Florida and how well it went, um, feel free to skip to the painting portion of this video um, because it is going to be a little bit of a long intro because there's just so many things to say. And then at the end of the video, um, I will put up some pictures and some videos and a time lapse of um, some of the workshops that happened over the weekend. And it just it was an overall fantastic time. Um, to my buddy, my friend, my partner in crime, Tammy. Uh, it was a blast. It was so nice to finally meet you in person. We had such a great time together and I cannot wait to do it again. Yes, that's right. We will be doing it again. So um, really quickly though, thank you to everybody who came out uh, and joined us for the classes. Um, from the feedback we've been getting, everyone had a fantastic time. Everyone learned a lot and it was just all around a perfect weekend. Aside from a downpour torrential rain Sunday morning, we were good. Um, another thank you to my amazing client, Amy, who was so amazing over the last week. Um, she was, thank you for the hospitality. Thank you for letting us stay in your home. Thank you for letting us use your guest house um, for the spot where we did our classes in. Um, you are amazing, Amy. Thank you so much for allowing us to be a part of your life and let us into your home. And a special thanks to my little boy, Lucas. Not sure if you guys know or saw in any of the videos or posts on Instagram, but I did bring Lucas with me. Um, he was a tremendous help. This kid, like, was amazing. He would direct everybody who was coming in, traffic, where to park, where to go. He was so helpful with handing out canvases to everybody, boxes to everybody when their paintings were done, to put everything in a box. He was so amazing, and I can't not thank you enough, buddy, for coming along with Mommy and helping us out in this uh, fluid art workshop. Um... Let's see, what else do I have to say? Um, thank you to all our sponsors. It was amazing. Um, and I can't, like Michaels, Loli Veffi, Pebeo, um, Pixel Paint Designs, Color Art, uh, Amsterdam, did I say that? But thank you to everybody, all the sponsors, huge shout out to all of the sponsors um, who not only provided products for the classes, but also products for the amazing goodie bags. And for those of you who came, you know how amazing those goodie bags were. So I'm very happy and very grateful to all the sponsors. Um, there's definitely going to be another Naples workshop in the future. So if you weren't able to attend this one, don't worry. I plan on doing another one in Naples. However, I want to ask you guys a question and I want you guys to answer in the comments below. Tammy and I would like to do another one in another state. So somewhere in the USA, but in another state. And I'd like to know, and we would like to know where you'd like to see us come next. California, I don't know, anywhere, but it has to be in the US. I can't travel to Europe. I'm sorry for those of you who are in Europe. Um, there's no traveling to Europe. I'd love to, but just that's not gonna happen. Um, so let us know in the comments below where you would like to see us travel next. And depending on all your answers, we'll check it out, write down all the answers and see where the most popular place is. So tell us what state in the US do you want to see us come to next? All right, put that in the comments below. And uh, over the next couple of months, we'll see how things go. And we're probably thinking another class uh, early July, early, not July, early 2023. So that's what we're thinking because we've got a lot of other things planned for the rest of the year. So just let us know in the comments below. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so that's it for the whole workshop. As I said, it was a great time. We all had a blast. 
um, just seeing everybody's creations and the color palettes everybody chose for the Dutch pours. It was amazing. And you'll see that at the end of the video. Now, speaking of workshops, um, you all know I have a resin workshop coming up on Saturday, July 23rd. That's actually next weekend. And I have one spot. So I had a cancellation, so I do have one spot available. So if anyone is interested in filling that last spot for July 23rd, it is a resin workshop where I will teach you guys how to use pigments and powders and paste and create a beautiful design on a birch wood panel. So if you're interested in that, you can email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. And then August 27th, I have my acrylic pouring workshop here in my home studio, and I have two spots left for that. So if you are interested in coming to my home studio and learning how to do a Dutch pour, uh, one with a white base and then one again with a black base, because you do two in one class, um, you can uh, join me on August 27th, two spots left, and you can email me for more information. Um, oh, I forgot to bring my calendar down. I have calendars. Um, well, I only have one now because I ordered one just to make sure it's the way I wanted it. And I totally forgot to bring it downstairs. Um, but I'll show it to you after. I, when I get myself set up, I'll go up and get it. But I have calendars now. So if you would like to pre-order a calendar, I've already had a ton of emails. People are already pre-ordering. I, I will get the calendars in about a month from now and then they'll be ready for shipping. It's a 2023 calendar. Um, and if you are interested in purchasing a calendar, you can email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. Um, so yes, calendars are $50 Canadian um, plus shipping and I ship worldwide. I will show you the calendar after this intro. Uh, wood rounds. So for those of you who ordered wood rounds, I am picking them up this upcoming week from my supplier. Um, I really hope that the order is not too heavy for my SUV. My husband's like, um, you better make sure that thing, all those, because we're talking a lot of wood rounds. I'm hoping it'll be okay, but I am picking them up this week. So I will have to sort through all of them, put all orders, you know, accordingly. And I will contact you all in order of first order placed. And I will move down the list and I will contact you guys for all your information so that I can get you guys um, all set up and get shipping ready and send them out. So just give me some time, get, be patient with me. It's probably gonna take a week or two or maybe three to get to the bottom of my list, but I will get to it. So be on the lookout for an email from me regarding your wood round order. Um, and that is it for the intro. I don't think I've, oh, I did for, almost forget something. So while I was away, I had pre-recorded videos of the skull, pyramid skull, and the resin hands, and the sculpted panel with the beautiful greenish colors. Um, so I haven't been able to show you guys the dried results of the blue piece with the gold and silver. So let me show you that right now. So here is the dried piece and uh, dried perfectly. So you can see in here and here and everywhere, all the shimmer from the gold and the silver. And I love this color because it's not a bright blue. It's actually more like a smoky dark blue, grayish kind of blue. So I'm really loving the way this turned out. So this is a 20 by 24 inch canvas. Yes, I believe so. So 20 by 24 inch canvas and it still needs a coat of resin and it is available for purchase for anyone who is interested in this piece. All right, so there we go. Now I don't have anything else to say. So I am going to get myself set up and we're gonna do another cool um, silver and gold piece. So continuing with the new series, let's get started. Be right back. All right, everybody. So before I get started to this, as I promised, my 2023 calendar is now available. Now I'm not going to show you guys all the months, but I will show you a few sneak peeks. So let me see here. Um, which month shall I show you? Um, 
Okay, so how about let's do July. So here is an example of one of the paintings that I have put in the calendar. So this is July and let me show you one more. And then the rest is a surprise. So you got to order the calendar if you want to see what is uh, going on in this calendar and what paintings you get. Oh, let's do this one. May. This was my black base with my Amsterdam pearls. So that is May. So that is all I'm going to show you. The rest shall remain a surprise. Um, so if you are interested in a calendar, um, I believe it's eight and a half by 11. And as I mentioned, $50 Canadian plus shipping and shipping is worldwide. Um, another quick mention, uh, I wanted to say thank you to a few people um, from the workshops uh, in Florida. Uh, first off, uh, thank you to Trey for creating this incredible piece of Juno and Echo and he did it by burning the wood. So if you guys all remember that portrait of Juno, it's actually in the background when you guys see my intros, that nice portrait of Juno, um, that was done by um, my, one of my clients, Ben, and Ben attended the uh, Sunday evening class and he brought along his buddy, Trey. And so it was so great to have gentlemen in the class. We had three gentlemen in the entire weekend of workshops and all three of them happened to be in the uh, Sunday evening class. So it was really awesome to have them all there. And Trey, you did such an incredible job. I love it. He did. It's so perfect. It's exactly like the picture of the portrait of the two of them together. So thank you so much, Trey, for doing that for me. Um, then a quick thank you um, to, <clears throat> to Jo. Um, she um, came back the next day and gave us some really nice cards and some really great things to say and a gift as well. So thank you, Joe, for that. And last but not least, to one of our students, Tammy, who gave Tammy and I these beautiful bloom rounds done on wood and she turned them into a lazy Susan. I don't have it here. I could not bring it home in my carry on. I did not check a bag. Um, so I did, I couldn't bring it home in my carry on, but don't worry. My client will uh, be mailing it to both of us um, in the near future. So she's just going to have to ship it to us because we just couldn't fit it in our carry ons. And so thank you, Tammy, for the beautiful bloom lazy susan and before i forget for those of you wondering how my travels were it was a complete nightmare um complete and utter nightmare our cancer our flight to florida from london international airport here in london got canceled by westjet it, it was a nightmare absolute nightmare uh it was a long day for lucas and i what would have been a 12 o'clock arrival in Fort Myers ended up being a 8 o'clock p.m. arrival with multiple transfers, had to stop in Atlanta. Um, it was a long day. And then coming home, none of our flights got canceled, but there were multiple, multiple delays. So again, another long, like 13, 14 hour day. Um, but I'm so glad I didn't check any luggage. Um, it was a nightmare. So if you're traveling, have fun. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to traveling again in August when we go to St. Pete's, but it is what it is. And you just got to suck it up and, you know, just roll with it. So just don't check any baggage. All the people who checked the bag on the WestJet flight I was on, who were heading to Orlando, the airline lost their luggage. So when we were boarding on our new Delta flight, to Atlanta, um, those passengers could not board the Delta flight because their luggage was not on board. So don't check a bag if you don't have to. Just, I would never ever check a bag. So anywho, that was my trip. Um, would I do it again? Yes, but this time I'll have, I'll know that to expect delays and just not be so overly disappointed when they say, oh, the flight's been delayed by three hours. You think my flight was bad. Tammy had an even worse time. Going, she was okay. Coming home, she had to sleep in the airport for the night um, in a chair. It was, I felt so bad for her. Tammy, I know you're watching. It really sucks what happened to you. Um, but yeah, traveling is just an utter colossal nightmare. All right, 
Let's get to painting. I have here an 18 by 24 inch canvas. So you can see I've already created my wispies. Same design as my last one because I really like the design and it works well on these canvases that are vertical. So I'm gonna stick with it because it is a series and I really like it. I may change it down the road, but for now we're gonna stick to the same thing. Colors I'm going to be using are my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. Again, this is a 2019 bottle, okay? If you don't have a 2019 bottle uh, and you have a soft body, which is the newer bottles at Michael's, I don't use those. Um, I still find that they're, the recipe is not the correct recipe, so I do not use it. Um, if you don't have a 2019 bottle, you can use Titanium White by Amsterdam, Titanium White by Artist Loft. You can use a bunch of other different whites that's not this flow acrylic, all right? So that is my base color. And then the colors I'm going to be using, uh, we're doing purple palettes. So it is going to be a purple, silver, and gold. So we shall start with Windsor Violet by Windsor & Newton. Then I've got Pearl Royal Purple by Arteza. Then I have Iridescent Silver by Pebeo. And a color I have not used in such a long time, and it's always been one of my favorites, and I totally forgot I had it because it's like way here at the bottom of my shelf. Prism Violet by Liquitex Basics. This is such a pretty color, and I totally forgot I had it. And then we've got 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art, and then topping it off, this really dark and rich Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. So those are my colors. I shall be using my Conair hair dryer for this one and uh, we will get started. So during the class, a lot of people brought their own hair dryers and uh, it was amazing to see how many people had the flower hair dryer, even the spatula. So it was really great to see. And, and those of you who didn't have one, um, everyone was sharing. So they're like, yeah, you can borrow my hair dryer. It was fantastic. I cannot tell you how much fun we had. Um, and it was such a pleasure meeting everybody. I will continue to talk more about it, but in the meantime, I'm gonna flood my canvas and I will be right back. All right, everybody, I am flooded and ready to go. So let me just start with this first color here and just let me concentrate. We'll do that. And then we are doing a wispy this way and a wispy that way. All right, so there we have it. All right, so um, yeah, we had so much fun. Oh! squirted some purple there look at that let's fix that as I was saying we had so much fun um, it was so nice meeting everybody and finally putting a face to most of the names and um, don't ask me to remember those faces and those names because it was <laughs> it's impossible to remember um, you know 75 plus people and their names and all of that I do remember some just not all of you <laughs> Um, but it was such a pleasure and everyone was so pleasant and so happy and so like friendly, you know, um, bunch of groups of the ladies got together on the Friday before the classes even began. And I heard they went out for dinner, like Tammy and I would have loved to hang out with everybody and go out for dinner and get to know everybody more. Um, but it was just, um, I got a clog. I haven't used this color for so long. It was so nice to see everybody getting along and um, having such a good time. And I would have loved to hang out with everybody some more, but our Friday, so we arrived Thursday and I didn't get there till what, 8.30, 9 o'clock that Thursday night. And then um, Friday was an all day of shopping and prepping. Lucas mixed all the base paints for all the students in the class. So it was about 77 bottle um, cups of white base that he mixed. Um, we were there till like Friday night at, I don't know, maybe 
we finally left there and went to the main house around 9 30 10 o'clock so it was a long friday and then we had two long days of classes which was awesome and then monday was spent cleaning up um you know table rental company came to get the tables and the chairs and you know clean up vacuum mop the floors with you know some paint on the floor and stuff like that cleaned everything up put everything away threw about i don't know 10 bags of garbage big black garbage bags out um, so lots of cleanup on Monday. Tuesday was a beach day. We went to the beach. Um, it was beautiful. We loved the beach. And then um, Wednesday was an all day pool day. We just wanted to stay home and lounge by the pool at Amy's house and it was amazing. And then Thursday we left. So that was the trip all in all. We had a great time and uh, I can't wait to do it again. I will do Naples again. Um, but as I mentioned, I also want to know from you guys where you want to see Tammy and I go next. So don't forget to put that in the comments. All right, paints are down. I'm going to start in this puddle here and work my way down and then continue as I go. So let's get started. All right, so, okay, a few things. First off, I love the colors. Secondly, it was so weird using this because um, I literally spent the whole weekend, Saturday and Sunday, using the flower hair dryer, and I helped all the students with it, plus my own for the demo for each class, so about 80 Dutch pours, okay? using the flower hair dryer. So picking this thing up and using it on a canvas, it's almost like I forgot how to use it. Believe it or not, I kid you not, it was so bizarre um, starting to blow out with this when I was so used to um, doing the Dutch pours with the flower hair dryer all this time. How crazy is that? Overall though, I love this piece. Let me just untangle myself here. Um, Wow, look at the cells. I cannot wait to bring you guys in for a close-up. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna play with this a little bit because I want some more of the color over here going this way. So let me grab my stool and not trip myself over my microphone cord because it was dead and I have it plugged in as I do this video. All right, so I'm gonna play with this a little bit here. All right, I love this. I love, love, love all of this. And I see a lot of the silver in here. And then there's, it's in here. You'll see it up on the close-up. But again, again on the close-up, but you'll see this beautiful border around my petals. I think I wanna blow a little bit of this out just to create some sort of design going this way. There, I kind of, I like that, that's better. 
And I think that is it. I don't think I'm going to touch anything else. So I am going to fix up all my sides and my edges. I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So don't forget to scrape, oops, scrape your drips when you're done your painting. Okay. Come back 10 minutes later. Do all four sides again and then a third time and you should be good to go all right so look how rich this is i love it i could have gone lighter purples but i really wanted to go with the dark rich colors and i just find that the colors pop so this is what i was talking about you see that beautiful border look at that so let me just show you again from afar and you can see how that one petal there on that side is outlined by rings of color i love it and then you can see the gold in there and there's that streak of silver and then lots of cells happening up here as well and then let's move over up here and crazy cells happening up here i'm really happy with this piece it's so pretty. I can't wait to do the next color. Hmm, what shall the next color be? I will think about that. So there you have it with the lights on. Let's turn the lights off. All right, so the lights are off and the flash is on. And you can already see the shimmer. So don't forget, there's the silver and the gold are a shimmer in itself. They are metallic. But then I also had the pearl royal purple by Arteza. Oops, my, color, my camera's changing colors on me. But uh, yeah, so there was the pearl. There we go. That's so weird that my camera does that um, by Arteza. So there's going to be a purple shimmer in all of this as well. So when this dries, you know it is going to be a very shimmery piece. Look at the silver in there super super happy love it all right let's turn the lights back on so there you have it everybody um i would love to know what you guys think about this piece in the comments below and i'm going to be thinking about what my next color combination will be um i don't know let me know so in the comments let me know what you think of this piece what color you think i should do next and also what state should tammy and i visit for our next fluid art creative escape workshop so let me know in the comments below can't wait to hear everything this piece is available for purchase for anyone who is interested if you'd like to purchase this piece you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com don't forget calendars are available if you'd like to purchase one please email me check out the description below my video there are all kinds of discounts for all kinds of companies, Crystal Resin, Loli Veffi, the uh, Sculpted Panels, Glitter, uh, Arteza, all kinds of discounts um, for you guys to shop with uh, the links below. I've got a lot of projects coming up. I got, as you can see, don't mind my big bright light, but I got a bunch of Sculpted Panels, um, from Bear Woods and I'm going to be working on some pretty cool things coming up and until then I think that is it for now so until next time thank you so much for watching have a good day have a good night and I'll see you guys in the next video take care bye